Hello everyone and welcome back to Stick RPG 2. So today guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna complete the game. Uh, we don't have very much left to do at all. I'm pretty sure we only have one fourth dimensional object left to get. The lab that I mentioned in the last episode, I was really confused. I was like, when, when do I get to access the lab? Uh, the lab is actually one of the last things you do in the game. It's part of the final story. So um, we'll be going to the lab today. There's also some sort of like boss fight thing and a murder. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna go in here. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna go in here because it's nighttime. I'm gonna go over here to one of my apartments. Well, one is an apartment. One is a condo, and one is a castle, but the point is, I'm gonna go to sleep. There you go. Sleeping like a baby. And now we're gonna get up, and we're gonna visit the dude at the uh, university. Remember, you need to be on the lookout for fourth dimensional objects. We will need them in order to send you home. So he doesn't actually tell me how many I have left to get, but I think it's only one. And I believe I get it from somebody I need to give cocaine to. Like, no joke, I need to just give cocaine to someone a bunch of times, and all of a sudden I can win the game. Or I could buy it, but I don't really have a whole lot of money. Okay, I only got 16 grand. I think I might have some in the bank, but still, they're like $100,000 each, and I don't have that kind of money. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, guys, and assume that, um, you know, you can't sell cocaine or even buy cocaine until the evening. So let's just go to work as a king for a bit. That sounds like a great idea. Look at all that money. Just shower me with money, guys. I love it. Mm. It really would not take very long uh, to save up enough money to buy the fourth dimensional object, but what's the fun in buying stuff, man? It's much more fun if you earn it. By buying things for other people instead, I guess. Alright, so if I want to actually give people cocaine, guys, I'm gonna need to buy it first. So let's just buy a bunch of cocaine. Or coca, in this case. Um, I think it's like five altogether we need to buy, so I'll just go ahead and buy five now. I'm not sure if I've given anybody cocaine yet or not. I think I did give one person cocaine. Let's go find someone to give cocaine to! Yay! Oh shit, guys, I didn't find the sledgehammer yet. I'm gonna have to do that first, okay? Because I really wanted to get a really awesome sledgehammer. It's made of Einsteinium. That's gotta be good, right? King of the Wing. I thought it was wing night tonight. What a letdown. Well, it just so happens that I got some wings on me right here, buddy, and you can have them. Here you go. And that's it. He just ate the wings. You get any more, you know where I'll be. Okay. Ooh, what's this? There's a person in here. I, I've never been in the bathroom at the, um, at Vinny's bar before. Guy on the john. Bad enough dropping a deuce in a bar. Never mind a bar out of toilet paper. God, I hate my life. Seriously, that sucks. Oh man, how am I gonna get up out of this one? Well, I mean, I got—I don't know, man. Are you seriously trying to talk me right now? Listen, buddy, I like to make small talk while I'm at the urinals, okay? It happens sometimes. Hello, lady. Hey there, Sonny, how you doing? Oh, it's a gilf. Grandmother, I like to fuck. Cool. I sure hope Walmart is open right now, guys, because I need to get myself some toilet paper. Oh no! Walmart's not even open, man. I still gotta look for that guy to give the cocaine to, but I keep finding all these random jobs I gotta do as well. Damn. Word around town is you got the skills of that there chainsaw. Care to test those skills? What do you mean? Ooh, you'll see. We meet at Jim's Gym every night. This car will get you in. Chainsaw club membership? What? That's a thing? Okay. Hey, guys. Are you part of the chainsaw club? Because there's a hell of a lot of you here. Who's this guy? Shady Joe Malone. You want to know about the hardware store murder? What? You think I did it? You're dead, pal. Relax, let's just talk. Okay, all right. Never mind. Oh, Jesus, he's got a chainsaw. I guess I should haul out a weapon as well. I'm gonna use my lightsaber on you, bro. You probably shouldn't have done that, okay? The second clue. Okay, so like, I, I got a lot of stuff that I gotta get done here. I think this might be part of the end game stuff. Okay, thank you, Joe Malone. There's a lot of people here who could fight me. Gentlemen, let us first go over the rules of Chainsaw Club. The first rule of Chainsaw Club is you don't talk about Chainsaw Club. The second rule of Chainsaw Club, no sh tweeting during Chainsaw Club. Third rule, Chainsaws only, no fists or other weapons. Number four, only members with a valid Chainsaw Club membership can participate. And the fifth rule, no tweeting during Chainsaw Club. Um, so does that mean I can like fight people? Yeah, yeah, so we both say yeah to each other and then we, we get to fight with Chainsaws. <laughs> This is the best club in the entire world, man! I probably should have got some health back before I fought this guy, but it's fine. I'm pretty much invincible, guys. Come on. If you use the techniques of left and right and left and right again and again, you'll you'll get him. See this? You can't touch me with that chainsaw! You can't do that! Oh, Jesus. He's actually pretty good, man. Oh, shit. Shit, bro. Shit. Ugh. Ugh. Whew. Almost lost. 
Okay, I kicked ass. 11 strength for me at the Chainsaw Club. I mean, what happens if I kill everybody in the Chainsaw Club? This is a terrible club. Everyone's gonna end up dead. So I believe you can actually turn the cocaine into the police officer instead of turn... Oh, crap. That's bringing my karma up. I don't like that. But I got... Here we go. I got it. <laughs> it's good to get this stuff out the streets. Great work. You have done a bang up job helping us out. So me and the boys got you one of those 4D objects you said you were looking for. Hope it comes in handy. Thank you very much. Thanks for the karma as well, even though I didn't want it. Asshole. All right, I'm not sure if this is the last 4D object or not, guys, but here we go. Give Moby a strip. I can't believe it! You found all the fourth dimensional items! Yes, I can now power my machine! Meet me at my lab. I have some work to do. The lab key. Okay, so let's go to the lab. I'm gonna get some health first, because I'm not sure what kind of place the lab is. You may need to fight people in it. I don't know. Let's go to McSticks. Okay, guys. Here we go. We are about to go inside the lab. Da dun dun Okay, there's a dude right there, and he has one of those helmets on. Maybe I should just shoot him. Instead of walking up to him, I'll just grab, um, flamethrower? Yeah, that's probably the best one. There you go. That was easy. <laughs> oh, Ooh, one of these guys. Everyone, is everybody gonna die really easily? Ooh, okay. Good, that's because that's they're scientists, guys. You know what scientists are like. They're, they're, never, they're never the uh, strongest people in the world. And that's coming from me, who is technically a scientist, I guess, considering I have a degree in neuroscience. But anyway, I'm at the lab. I'd like to be able to talk to that guy, but it turns out he's got a whole lot of people who just want to kill me instead. Hmm. That guy seemed a bit harder than the other people. Maybe they get harder as you go. Hello? Nope, not really. Oh, look! He's got one of those fourth dimensional objects. He's got it all hooked up to a machine and stuff. It's a climb bottle. Okay. That guy died really easily. Oh, oh shit. Get out of here with your guns. Who do you think you are? Firepower is the best power. No, wait. Technically, guns are firepower. Well, fire is the best firepower. There. Hello? I'm ready. Can I leave? Just got a question mark. And an exclamation mark. Well, well, I see you managed to get past all of my cronies. Okay, so Professor Ansel is a bad guy. Hmm. <laughs> I guess you get what you pay for. It matters not. My machine, a gateway through time and dimensions, now has the power to send me forward. Forward to a dimension the likes of which we can't even imagine. Unfortunately for you, your journey ends here. Well, why could... Oh, shit. So stay away from me. What the hell are you even... Do oh, shit. That's not a good gun to be sh shooting at me. It's pretty powerful. Come on over, buddy. I'll just, um... Gonna have to... Well, come closer. There you go. That's it, child. I will get this guy. Gah! You will not stop my quest for knowledge. I must know what is beyond. The machine is overloading. The universe is about to collapse in on itself. Perhaps we will meet again in another dimension. Huzzah! I bet his dimension is like absolute shit. So I can go to the dimension I'm in now, his dimension, or the stick RPG one dimension. I'm gonna go to his. The dimensional rift has sent you back uh, to the weightless nothing between time and space you try to clear your mind slowly the physical world comes into focus as the fabric of the universe begins to take shape once again you are falling ah there you go so we managed to beat the game because this is credits obviously because they're you know showing all the different people who made the game Ooh. The end. That oh, what was a question mark? What does that mean? We're about to finish falling, I bet, and we're gonna land back in the same place again. And the question is, do you ever actually get to go back to the one-dimensional, two-dimensional world, or no? Do I have to click on something? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I didn't save my game before I won. So what does that mean? Can I continue with my file again? Yeah. No. Okay, so if you beat the game, you actually lose your save progress, and you have to come back to where you saved last. Okay, well, um, I kind of want to go back to the Chainsaw Club and kill everybody in the Chainsaw Club and see what happens. And then we'll end the video, because we did do a lot in this video. There's still a bunch of stuff we can do, so um, we'll finish all up. We'll get a bunch of more jobs and things in the next episode, but we're definitely going to the Chainsaw Club, okay? Let's go back to the Dangling Penis and get, uh, oh, wait, what? Do you see that? What the hell was... What?
behind you. Wait a second. There's nobody in the world? Everybody's gone. Why, why is there nobody here? Oh, it's 2.51 a.m. I guess it, no. No, because people still party, right? People still stay out and party. Is everybody gone? Has everyone disappeared? Hello? Oh, Jesus. Hello? No, everything is, this. Uh, all this stuff is closed. Jim's Jim. That's locked. City Hall. Closed. Benjamin Club. There's nobody in here. Everybody has disappeared. It's only the people that you can interact with left. All the, all the, the, the citizens are gone. I'm gonna have to go back to the lab. Can I go in here? Why well, don't wanna go in here? Get me back out. Okay. So why is the game acting all weird, guys? Do I just need to go to bed? If I go to bed, will everything be okay? Cause I just, I, I assume that there would still be people around even if it is 2.53 a.m. But it doesn't seem like it. Can you just, there you go. Uh, sleep. Then we'll go back down here, go into the University of Stick, and we will talk to this guy again. Hey, buddy. Remember, you need to be on the lookout for the fourth dimensional objects. We will need them in order to send you home. Okay, so, um, yeah, there's still a murder that we need to solve, guys. We got a clue. I didn't actually read the clue. We gotta, we're gonna have to go get it again and stuff. Um, so, as I said, I want to go to the Chainsaw Club. So, we're gonna do that again, and we're gonna kill everybody in the Chainsaw Club. Okay, so this guy right here... Relax, let's talk about this. Now I have to fight him first. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and use that on him again. What the hell is happening right now? The green people are back. I get put back at the castle every time I, um, I do anything. Sometimes I get, like, transported to weird places on the map. I am just, I'm so confused, guys. I don't know, the game is all messed up now after I, um... After I came back, is it because I went to a weird dimension? I don't know. Can we? Can we, why do we have to talk about it again? I beat you, you bitch. Okay, hang on. I gotta get my flamethrower. Flamethrower. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't have my keys. Fingers on the right keys. <laughs> there. I got him. Stop! What do I do? Okay, I've reloaded the game, guys. Um, I can't go into the gym because it's locked unless you have the um the membership card. So let's go to the dangling pianist and talk to this guy. Get ourselves the card and then we'll go over. There you go. Okay, guys. So restarting the game, fix the problems. I kicked ass. I got the second clue. I'm going to kill all these guys in here and then we're going to call it a day. Okay, guys. So this is the last guy we need to fight. I've killed every other person at the Chainsaw Club. I don't know if we're going to get anything for this, <laughs> but it will be an achievement of itself even if we don't. You kicked ass. Huh? He comes back again? Oh, okay. I thought maybe killing everybody would do something, but apparently not. It just revives the last guy so you can kill him again. Fantastic. Well, I must say, guys, it is a really good way to get your strength up, considering you get, like, 10 or 11 strength every single time you do it. But if you die, you lose 1,458 bucks. Okay. Well, that was basically a waste of time. I mean, it was fun fighting all those guys with chainsaws, but at the end of the day, I got nothing to show for it. But hey, we beat the game today, guys. So next time, what we'll do is we'll, um... We'll just adventure around, um, talk to some more people. There's probably a few people in town we can still talk to and do things for. I gotta give some, uh, the guy at Vinny's Bar some more chicken wings. And we had to find the clues so we can find out about the hardware store murder. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.